Hello students, I hope you all are safe and healthy. This is Rabia here and in today's class, let us start the new chapter that's your chapter number 6, Tissues and in today's class, let us see the introduction to tissues and types of tissues. Students, in your previous class, you finished with the chapter, the fundamental unit of life, where you learned about cell. You learn the various components of the cell with its functions as well. You all know that the cell is a basic unit of life where all the organism on earth is made up of cell. Now depending upon the cell, you have unicellular organisms which is made up of a single cell. The best example is amoeba. So amoeba performs all its life processes with the help of that one single cell, if, cell itself. That is the nutrition, excretion and all the life processes. Coming to another type of organism is your multicellular organism which is made up of more than one cell. Like the plants, animals, insects, the fungi and some of the microorganisms. Coming to your multicellular organism students, it has various cells performing its own function like you can see here the pumping of heart here you can see the blood cells are flowing and this is the digestive system here you can see there are various processes performed by different cells that means there are group of cells performing its own function right and this is known as the division of labor in general where there are specific cells performing various functions its own functions now students let us see the other example here you can see the cell of a neuron it's a single cell. Now when all this neuron combine or come together, they perform its specific function of transferring the information based on the external stimulus. Here you can see all these neurons are, all, are of similar structure which is performing a particular function. So this is known as the tissues. So tissues are nothing but a group of cells. Here is a neuron cell that are similar in structure. So these are a group of neuron cells which is, a, which is having a similar structure and they work together to achieve a particular function. Here is a function of transferring the messages. So this is known as tissue. Students, the study of tissue is called as histology. Do not get confused. Don't think it's a study of history. Histology is a study of tissues. Now students, let us see the pioneers behind this histology now. So Marie Francois Xavier Bichat, he is known as the father of histology. So here is the image of him. He was a French anatomist and a pathologist. And in those days, there were not much sophisticated microscope students. Though he didn't have various equipments, he had distinguished 21 types of elementary tissues in humans. And the next person is Marcellus Malpighi. He is known as the founder of histology. And the other person is Carl F. Mayer. And he was the one who coined the term histology. So these were the people behind histology. <coughs> now coming to the cell organization students. Here observe this particular image. Here the cell is combining to form a tissue and all the tissues or the layers of tissues are combining to give a particular organ and all the organs come together to form an organ system. This is seen both in plants as well as in animals. So is plant and animal made up of same type of tissues 
think about it the answer is no let us try to understand with few examples students animals and humans can eat humans can play around you can see even animals play we can read or study also we can walk but can the plant perform these activities no right now come out with some of the differences between plants and animals by yourself think about it you might get many more differences between the plants and animals that's because plant tissues are different from the animal tissues and hence we have the types of tissues that's your plant tissue and animal tissue so let us first see what are the plant tissues students plant tissues are further classified into meristematic tissue and the permanent tissue and animal tissues are further classified into epithelial tissue connective tissue muscular tissue and the nervous tissue students you will learn about each type of tissues in your future classes clear so in today's class you had learnt about the definition of tissues and types of tissues that's your plant and animal tissues let us try to learn some of the values from this topic students the way, the way the cells are grouping together to form a tissue to perform a specific function even we must gather and work for the betterment for a specific cause and the tissues perform its own functions and also coordinates with other tissues even we must also live with cooperation and coordination with other fellow mates so that's it for today students i hope you enjoyed the class thank you